Hi pals, my name is Mal, or you can call me Milk, and today we are going to be doing a vacation home on Happy Home Paradise. Today we are doing Stella's home, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. After looking around at the beach to see who we had, I decided to go into the cafe, and that's where I found Stella, who wanted a pink palace. So like I said, her theme is Pink Palace. The furniture that she chose that she wanted to have in the place I actually really liked. So I just stuck with her theme. And here you can see me picking out um, where I decide to place her house. I also decided to do just a one level home, um, just mainly because I didn't really have any ideas of what I would put upstairs. I wanted to just fit it all into one room. So starting with the outside of her house, I decided to put it in spring and I also made it around sunset time just to kind of give it the RNG pinkish look to it to match her style. And I also wanted to keep the outside pretty simple, just because I do prefer decorating the inside more. I feel like I have more inspiration. And I like just spending a whole bunch of time on the inside and making that exactly how I want it. So I feel like for the outside, I can just kind of speed up and make it as cute as I can be, just as quick as possible, just so I can focus more on the inside. Here you can see me laying down some of the path design that I use on my own island. I feel like it's a really cute and simple way to just take up some space so you don't have to worry about decorating that area and to add some character to the build. Now's the time that I go through the order tab and pick out as much furniture as I can and pick out all the items that I want to use out in the yard. I do that all at once, I just feel like it's a little faster and then once I'm done clicking everything, I'll move everything around and add what I need to after the fact. I really felt like I had to add this cherry tart. I feel like it matches her color perfectly. So I set it in between those two chairs there. So this is where I finished with the outside. Pretty simple. I think it turned out really cute. And then we're gonna head right on inside.
stick on the outside for the inside i went ahead and added a whole bunch of items at once and then spread them out to where they needed to be and then went ahead and added even more stuff and so on and so forth <laughs> So what I was trying to do in this area was I was taking inspiration from this picture here that I saw on Reddit. I have the user on there. Um, they had this cute little cutout section in the wall and had a little couch on the inside of it. I really loved that idea. Unfortunately, um, in their comments, they said that they used the pink climbing wall. I didn't realize until I was doing this that I didn't have that. So I tried the bookshelves. That didn't work. So I ended up settling on just this partition wall that goes all the way across with a little entryway in the middle. So behind this partition wall, I decided to do the bedroom on the one side and the bathroom on the other. So that is me working on that right now. That is all that I do for the back here. So here's just a little circle around it. Um, I think it turned out pretty cute, pretty simple, pretty small, but it's all right. Um, and then we go ahead and get working on the kitchen dining room area as well as the living room. I am really in love with this tall item. I forget what it's called, um, but I just think it looks so cute. I was struggling on what to put on the end of this sink, um, and I just think it, it adds so much separation between the dining room and that room, and it just adds a little extra decoration and height to the room. I just really love it. So 
now we are getting very close to the end here. I'm going to start putting the wall decorations um, in the front area here. So this is it. This is the final look of my build of Stella's house. If you're enjoying the music, I listed everything down below in the description. It helps me out a lot, especially because this is the original game audio. Yeah, so you can see why I added music over top of this, because I couldn't imagine doing this entire build listening to that. I went in and added some polishing on some of the items. I believe I added some more smoke to that bathtub. I added some sparkles to the mirror and I also added some butterflies around the plant in the dining room. And that is officially everything that I did for Stella's pink palace. I really love the way it came out. I think it's so cute. It absolutely screams pink, which is I think what Stella was looking for. Let's go ahead and show it to Stella. That is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave this video a like. It really helps me out. And if you enjoy this type of content, you can click that subscribe button to see more like it. I have all Animal Crossing videos right now, but I'm looking to do some other games in the future like Stardew Valley. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!